Sometimes it happens that you are unable to log in, you have forgotten your username or password, and your lost password is also not working. But since you need to log in, you need to fix it. Therefore, in this quick fix video, I'm going to show you how to add a new WordPress admin user via MySQL. So, if you're interested, then jump in. Now, first things first, you need to log into your cPanel or any other admin area that your web hosting has. Since the cPanel is the most used one, I'm going to show you how to add a user to your database with help of cPanel. So, if you're logged in, then you have two options. First, search for PHP my admin, this one here. Open it up, and now you need to know what is the database name your site is using. I have a couple of those here, therefore I don't know which one I need to modify. I'm going to go back to the cPanel. I'm going to open up the WordPress toolkit. Here's my site, and there's a database option here. I'm going to click on it, and there it is, my database name. One more thing, pay attention that this one here is a table prefix. We need to remember it. I'm going to show you later why. So, this is a database name here. So, I'm going to open up my database. And now I'm going to search for a table called users. This one here. Open it up. And you'll see all the users that are added to the database. All the information here. You don't see the passwords because those are encrypted. Now let's create a new user here. And to do so, click on insert. Let's give a user a ID, for example, six. It should be ID that is not used yet. Next one, login name is Jack Mac. Let's add a password. And be sure to choose MD5 from the top drop down here. This one will encrypt the password. Next one, user email. If you want, you can also enter a nice name here or URL. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to change the registration time. User status is zero. Display name is Jack. All this is done. I'm going to click on go. One row inserted. And if you take a look, you'll see it's here. But there is one more thing we need to do. Therefore, let's go back to our database and search for user meta table here, this one. Now, as you remember, we added a user with an ID 6. So pay attention that it's important here. Now click on insert. User ID, it was 6, as you remember. Now under the meta key, add your prefix and capabilities. So, since my prefix, database prefix, is this one here, as you see, it's also visible here. I'm going to change the prefix. And inside the meta value area, paste this one here. Now, if this is done, click Go. One row inserted, and let's test it out. So, I'm going to refresh the page. Click on login, username Jack Mac, demo password one, two, three, four. I'm going to log in. As you see, I'm logged in. And if I go to the dashboard, I have admin user privileges. If I open up all users, I can see that this is the user I added, and the role is administrator. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now I have also made a Toro tutorial how to add a admin user via FTP. This method is also an easy one. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now because there is a video. Meanwhile, take care.